Creating honeycomb patterns in Fusion 360 is quick and easy. In this video, I walk you through the process of how I design a coaster that features a centralized honeycomb pattern. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Maker's Workbench. As always, I'm your host Charles and as you saw in the intro, I'm going to show you how to design a coaster that features a centralized honeycomb pattern that I will later use to generate the cam for my CNC router. This video is sponsored by Starbond CA Glues. Use code TMWB15 at checkout on Starbond.com for 15% off your entire order. Not only is Starbond the freshest, longest lasting CA glue on the market, but the company is dedicated to supporting the maker community and content creators like myself, which is why I have endorsed their products for over three years now. I stick with Starbond and you should too. Okay, let's get on with our design. So the first thing we need to do is create a new sketch. We're gonna place that sketch on the bottom plane. And now we know that we need a circle that is 0.5 inches in diameter. So we're just gonna click circle, drag out, type the number five, it gives us a five inch circle. Now we need to offset the outside of the circle inward by a quarter of inch to give us a nice border. So we're gonna click the circle, hit O for offset, and then negative 0.25 will be our dimension. That'll offset that circle by one quarter of an inch, giving us a nice border for our honeycomb pattern to terminate into. Okay, the next part is gonna help us out, so we need to hit L for line. We're gonna click the center part of the circle, go up 90 degrees, hit 0.25 inches, and that gives us a reference point for our next operation. So now we need to create the actual honeycomb cell. So we need to click Create, Polygon, Inscribed Polygon, we're going to click our center circle and then just drag it up to the point we just made. That gives us a six-sided inscribed polygon that is 0.5 inches in diameter. Now, to make life easy again, we're going to delete that center line. We no longer need it. Um, and now we need to create two more lines. So hit L for line. We're going to click the center point again. And then we're going to drag to the center point on this face on the right. We need to do the same thing to the left side. So we're going to click the center point, drag to the center point of the top left face. That gives us two angles at which we're going to expand our honeycomb pattern from. With the polygon created, we need to click rectangular pattern. And then we need to select our objects. Our objects are going to be each one of the six faces. So go through and select each six face. Now, with them selected, we need to click directions. Click select and we're gonna select the right one and then the left one. Now, before we do anything else, we need to come back over to the rectangular pattern dialog box and we're gonna change the direction type on each direction to symmetric. And we're pretty good there. Okay, now, I've done this already. You're gonna have to play around with these, these numbers depending on the size of the pattern you're making, the object you're trying to fill with the pattern, so on and so forth. So I know that I need nine on each side. And you see that'll give me nine honeycombs on each side, like that. We're, you have to play with the sizing just a little bit. But each one now is at 2.2. It's important for your honeycomb pattern that these two numbers, the distance on the top direction and the distance on the next direction, are the same because that determines the width of your webbing here. So I like that. It looks fairly good. Um, I'm happy with it. Now, the only problem is we have these, these polygons on the outside of our circle. The easiest way to get rid of these is to click Suppress and then come in and uncheck each one that you no longer want. This is a quick process. Sometimes this is a very large process depending on how involved or how large you made the pattern. Um, I've made some honeycomb patterns where this process took me well over an hour to delete the polygons that I do not want. Um, there's probably better ways to do this, but this is how I do it and this is how I tell other people to do it. So you see, we have all those. We don't have any others. 
that we need to really get rid of. So we're done there. We're going to click OK over here in the dialog. That will clear up our pattern. Um, now, since I'm going to be using this to export a DXF for my CNC machine, what we need to do is come in and trim our unwanted lines here. If you were 3D printing this or just designing it for fun, you really wouldn't have to do this if you're going to extrude this design later. But I am going to put this on my CNC, so it's just easier to remove these now. That way we don't have extra lines showing up when we try to make our cam. And one more. And there we go. I'm going to go ahead also and trim out those center lines. Okay, there you have it. So now you need to just click finish sketch and we have a nice round coaster, five inches in diameter, with a quarter inch border filled with a honeycomb pattern. Now if you're like me and you're going to export this to use in a Vetric software such as VCar, VCar Pro, or Aspire you need to export this as a DXF. The easiest way to do this in Fusion 360 is to right click on the sketch and save as DXF. If you're going to be 3D printing this, you can just simply rotate it around, click the extrude tool, click the outer ring, click the inside of the webbing, and extrude it. I'm just going to go 0.25, and there we have a model that we can print. To print it, you would just click Utilities, Make, and then click it and then it would export the STL file for you to 3D print. That's going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you for watching and if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel to get updated when I release more tutorial videos like this one. It would also help me out a lot if you would consider clicking the like button as well as leaving a comment below. That's it for now and as always, remember to hack the world and make awesome.